All right, so this is what I did, you guys. I'm gonna do this as part two on this video, but uh, this is my little uh, row foundry anvil that I had. And like I said, I thought it was like 11 pound, but it might be like 20 pounds or something. It's a pretty good size. But this bigger 55 pound anvil from a Harbor Freight dwarfs it. And it's funny because I was grinding it, cleaning it and whatever. And I found a whole bunch of Bondo in this. This is about the third anvil that I found like that made in China. Um, I guess in the factories when they have low spots and stuff, they just fill them with auto body filler and then paint them and, you know, send them down the, down the line or whatever. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and retire this guy and I'm going to put it underneath my welding table one of these days. But for now, I'm going to just throw it in the corner so it's out of my way. And then this is the, this is the 55 pound anvil from Harbor Freight. And what I did is I took my grinder and I cleaned it really good right here. So now this isn't all jagged and messed up with casting marks and everything else. And this is the edge that I use all the time. And then this horn I use all the time. So I smooth it really nice and smooth so that when I'm doing hammer forming on sheet metal, it doesn't leave all those marks in there. Because you can see there's a lot of marks in there. And uh, it was a lot worse when it had that uh, hammered paint, this blue paint that was on there. So I took my grinder and cleaned all this up. And then I took a flapper wheel and cleaned it up. And I resurfaced everything real nice. So it's nice and smooth now. I need to go around this hardy hole a little bit better because uh, it's a little, it catches your hand a little bit. But I cleaned up all the edges because the, the casting mark was kind of lipped over right here. And uh, see if we can get that on camera. But now it's nice and smooth, level, plumb, flat. Everything's resurfaced. And this edge is really nice. Um, it's not real square, but uh, I think it'll do. And I just need that quarter inch lip right there for forming sheet metal. I take my hammer and I kind of use a cross peen where I jam the hammer inside there and you know you can form metal on that edge. And then this smaller one, you can use all kinds of you know different shapes with this horn. But my uh, small anvil was on this uh, log that I made to uh, mount my my small uh, anvil, I had this log and I made this a while back on YouTube and uh, you know, I got my spot for my hammers and then this log takes up a lot of the, the when you're beating on this these anvils, it, this takes up a lot of the, uh, you know, it's kind of like a deadener where it'll take up a lot of the sound and it'll take up a lot of the force that you're putting down on the anvil. But uh, I ground this whole thing down and clean it up and clean up all these edges really nice and smoothed it out and made it look a little bit nicer and uh, or feel a little bit nicer actually. And uh, now the lip, the edges are nice and crisp and clean. And you know, I could, if you're doing like blacksmithing, you know, you need to actually round these edges off, I think, because you'd end up cutting the metal. But I want this so that I can do nice 90 degree bends, you know, when I'm forming tabs or something like that. And I want to bend it over on that piece of metal. You could take that hammer and just use a piece of sheet metal and go right over the edge. And then, like I said, this, this one here, if you take a cross peen hammer, <clears throat> and uh, I might have a hammer here somewhere. Let's use this one for instance. It's got that little tack hole in it, but you can see you can get a nice crisp edge on a piece of sheet metal if you're hammering like this on that metal. And then, like I was saying, you can pick up this, these shapes here. And if you're making some fenders or hoods or doors, you know, bottoms or edges or whatever, any panels that you're making, it just makes it so much nicer. But anyways, 55 pound for 55 bucks, buck a pound, Harbor Freight, pick one up. If you're doing uh, something like what I do, if you're, you know, like I was telling you in the last video, if you're doing something like blacksmithing professionally, you might as well forget it because uh, I don't think this is hardened at all because it, it just, it leaves marks in there really bad when you're hammering on it, but it's perfect for what I need it for. I'm just gonna be using this for, uh, you know, hammer and dolly work and, and uh, I'll be using like hammers like this to form metal and whatever, so. But anyways, hope I didn't bore you guys. Appreciate you watching. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And uh, go over and check out Ruti Customs. He has an awesome anvil video that you might like. Thanks for watching.